Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Mom of Five Budgets. And in today's video, we are going to be closing out our week three budget and setting up for week four. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every. So I went ahead and did this off camera because yeah just to make this rolling i don't want the video to be too long so this is going to cover for from the 17th through the 23rd and you can see that we only have three categories here and so for gas we spent 43 dollars and 50 cents it would have been 40 dollars but you know how when you put the when you put the thing on the on the gas thing and you just leave it there and it just keeps going yeah and it wasn't because my sister had sent me money to go pick up my niece so that was for my gas and i was like oh man i went over and so that's why i put three dollars and fifty cents and then um yeah so th this week since the kids was um on spring break i didn't go anywhere i didn't do that much besides go to work and yeah and then the next category we have is food. We spent $53.30. I believe we budgeted $50. And then the last one is just our saving challenges. And this week was really good. We saved a total of $88.43. So this is how my expense tracker went for the week. Now I'm going to go and put that on my calendar. And I think I'm going to just do it with you guys since I don't have, like, that much. So, oh, plus, oh, well, we did have a phone bill. Duh, I forgot to add that. Okay. I'm going to just add it down here. It was on the 17. Oh, my whiteout is running out. I need to go buy a new one. And there. Now we could keep going. So... Um, we got our our phone bill and then went to buy food and this week we spent fifty three dollars because my brother in law gave me a hundred dollars because he wanted um this a uh, beef soup sopa de res and my mother in law did it so we had leftovers from the meat so then the next day we did tacos um so which was awesome because you know. This week was supposed to be one of those weeks that I don't work that much. So, but I ended up working at least a, a, one more day. So that was good. For the third week, we, we got one, two, three, no spend days, which is better than none. In total, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's awesome. We just need two more because that's my goal is always to have 10 no spend days within a month. So we need two more. And um, yeah, so, oh, I was about to say, let's set up the next one. And we didn't even close out week three. So for my cleaning job, I budgeted 210 because I was only working three days, but I actually got 610, which is like what? Tri double, no, triple what I budgeted. And that was because even though it was like four days I worked, like three of those days, I stayed more extra hours. So I got like $120, let's say for two days and stuff. So 
That's awesome. And that's perfect because we might be moving, guys. So, it was like a last minute notice. Uh, so, we'll see what happens. I don't want to talk about it too much, but there's that in the air that we might be moving. Um, so, that's why you guys won't see me like stuff my... My... Um, what is that? My tax return because we're going to use it to move. Um, so, yeah. So, that's that. Extra is anything that I get that besides my cleaning, anything I sell or something like that. So, for extra, we made a total of... $80. This week was a good week. So $80 we got and um, I believe it was, I wrote it down somewhere. Okay. I got $50 from selling um, something from the house and then um, the rest, I think I got it from Bay. So, oh, and then Bay gave me $40. So 40, 50, 60, 62. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. I was like, wait, what? I forgot. I had just forgot about the 40 that they had owed me and he just gave me. We used our rollover. $40 from our buffer. And I'm adding these. Um... So that's going to give us a total of $797 this week for our income. Now we're going to go down here to our fixed expenses. Our phone was $106. we are going to put it down here. $106. And that's going to leave us with $691. Now we're going to go to the variable expenses, which are cash envelopes. So for gas, I budgeted 50. We actually spent 43.50. So under budget. Food, we budgeted 50 um $80 and we actually spent $53.30. So under budget. House, we didn't need anything for the house, but I know I, I do have to take out because we gotta buy um a dish detergent and um and laundry detergent. So I didn't buy baby stuff. Um, Bay bought um, Evelyn Pamper and Wipes. No eating out. Bay bought that. Spending, I didn't buy nothing. The dogs, Bay bought that. I don't do, I'm not doing allowance at the moment. And then for miscellaneous, I budgeted 20, but I also didn't spend nothing for that. I told you guys, it was one of those, it was a slow week. I barely did anything. So um, if I add gas and food, that's going to give me a total of $96.80. So way under of what we budgeted. So now we are left with $594.20, which is a lot, which is awesome. But yeah, you guys will see what's what we're going to do. So then we're going to come down here to the debt and savings. And for saving challenges, um, I managed to save a total of $88.43. And it was $80 from, well, the, the $50 that I, I got from um, what I sold. Um, Bay, I took some money from Bay. And then this is including my zero out and my coin challenge. So that's what's in there. For my buffer, I didn't budget anything, but um, I am going to leave in $35.77. My care credit, I budgeted $10. And wait, I'm looking. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, I didn't. Okay. I know what I did. It was $30. So I paid $30 for my care credit instead of 10. And the $30 is basically, I'm just making, I'm going to make an extra payment because you're going to see my care credit is actually due on the fourth week paycheck. But um, that's just like extra that I'm paying because I want to pay it down. It's under 500. So that's the next one that we're tackling under the, um, under the, oh my gosh, the debt um, snowball method. So then for rollover, we are going to roll over 
$440. And that's because again, the fourth week I'm only working three days, but I'm hoping it's good like this because then from that paycheck, I'm gonna give some money for the rent to pay. So when we add that up, we're gonna get $594.20, which is a zero-based budget. So I think we did pretty good. Now we're gonna go and set up our last week, our week four, or for the cleaning. I'm only working three days again this week, but I could do more days, but we're gonna just stick with what's on the schedule already for me. So we've got 300 for cleaning. We never budget for extra. That's just, at the end of the week, I'll just see how much extra money I got, let's say from Bay or my mom, or you know, I just made selling something. And then we're gonna add rollover. And our rollover is 440. And then um, I get Etsy. It was only a dollar from Etsy. So if you guys haven't got to check out my Etsy shop, please do. So when we add that up, that gives us a total of 741. Yeah. Let me add that up real quick. Yeah, 741. Now we're gonna go to our fixed expenses and we have our credit one credit one for 64 our care credit of 30 but we are gonna make extra um payments on that and then um yeah that's it okay um so when we add that up that oh i forgot to add we're gonna do our taxes so i'm gonna take out 200 because it's 100 to file my taxes and 100 to file base taxes so that's gonna be a total of 294 294 and then we're gonna be left with 447 dollars so now we're gonna go into our cash envelopes and for gas I'm gonna budget 50 again and see how that goes. Food, I'm gonna budget 100. For household, we're gonna budget, actually I have to pay the, I have to buy the, the, the laundry detergent which is 20 plus. Okay, we're gonna put 30 for household. And then um, for baby, which is just pampering wipes for Evelyn, we're not gonna budget anything because she still has for this week. For eating out, I'm gonna budget 20. Spending, I'm gonna give myself $5. For the dogs, the dogs still have food for this week. So actually, babe bought them dog food. And then we're not doing <clears throat> nothing for allowance. And then for miscellaneous, <clears throat> we're gonna budget 20. And when we add that up, because I forgot about that I needed to buy, on my cheat sheet that I have, I forgot to include the laundry detergent. So from now on, you guys will see me use a calculator. So that's 225. So 225 and <clears throat> that leaves us with <clears throat> $222 left. So now we're gonna go to the debt and savings and um, I think I'm gonna switch, I wanna do it from important. So care credit. Care credit is gonna get 70. Yeah, this is just extra payment because I, I already paid the 30. I'm gonna pay this 30, so in total, I'm gonna pay $79, $90. Almost close to $100 for that, for that one card, so that's awesome. So care credit, and then we have our saving challenge, and then buffer, and rollover. Okay, so now we're gonna 
play around. So we have 20, 22, take away the 70. So I have 152. Um, let's let's um, put $40 for saving challenges. Oh, okay, and then $12 for buffer, and then we're gonna roll over $100 because, like I said, we'll be paying the rent. So I forgot to include the rent here. God damn it. Um, that's because I don't know how much I'm gonna give them. So, oh no, I still have one more week. Never mind. I'm still good, guys. I forgot. Um, we don't pay the rent until the 9th. So I still have one, the first week of April to budget, and then I'll include the rent in that one. So uh, let's add this up. 70 plus 40. That gives us two, no, $222, which means if uh, we take a remainder of 20, 222, take away from 222, we have a zero base budget. Eat all of our money has their own title their own category they're all labeled in their positions and um yeah so that's the budget for for the third for the fourth week let's go and do our expense tracker we said it was the 24th through the 30th and then um i think um i think that's it Okay, so now that we've got that, let's get any coins we have. So we're going to put it in this wallet that I won in a giveaway from Kadima over her shop. It's called Kadima Boutique, but on YouTube, I believe it's just Kadima. Oh, where I heard something fall. Where is it? And then, um, oh, let's get our, our money. <clears throat> so, this is from Bay. So, I got $16 from Bay. And look at this $5. It's kind of old. It's all messed up, but look at the, look at the difference. So, I got this from Bay. And then this one, <clears throat> fifty dollars was um, from the from the thing that I sold. It was a freezer that I sold for fifty bucks. And then yeah, and then this twenty was from Bay. So yeah, let's see how much we're gonna be putting towards our saving challenge. <laughs> Okay, bring in 20, 40, 50, 65, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, $80 towards our saving challenge, which stay tuned. Stay tuned, guys. It's going to be awesome. Okay. So we're going to put it in here. $80. And this, this um, bag is from Berliner Bags. I'll leave their website down below if you want to go and purchase it. The leather feels authentic and awesome. Um, and then <clears throat> the last thing, as like always, you know, like I always say, is your receipts. Scan your receipts um, on Fetch and on Receipt Pal. You get points, which turn into gift cards, <clears throat> and you can just shop anywhere you want. So, yeah, my code will be... In the description if you guys want to go use it and um, yeah so I'm gonna put this to the side I'm gonna, I'm gonna scan these after I finish recording and with that oh I don't have another of these but I have to write another one so I can leave it in my wallet but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye Back a year ago